Growing up, so my mom is Jewish and my dad grew up Catholic. So we kind of did, you know, both of the holidays, but we didn't really grow up in the temple or the church. So I didn't really grow up, you know, reading, knowing the Bible or reading any anything from the Torah or anything. Moved up to Georgia and um, started nursing school. A couple months before I finished nursing school is when I met Chad. About six months before I met Chad, he was in a motorcycle wreck and lost his right leg. You know, just to see his attitude towards this huge event in his life, asking, you know, how did he get through this? And, you know, he just said, I had to give it to the Lord. Started going to church with Chad on and off, but I was kind of always just going for him. He grew up in church. You know, he was baptized when he was seven. And, um, you know, I kind of just went along with him and not really looking to get anything out of it. In the back of my mind, it was always, well, I'm Jewish. I'm not supposed to know Jesus. Felt like I would betray my mom and my grandma and my Jewish side, you know, if I pursued anything more. Chad got a call from Wayne that he met John and they were going to start a, you know, start a church. And, you know, he said, I really want to go and see what this is all about. So, you know, I said, okay, we'll go. And um, felt the connection right away, his sermons and, you know, just his messages. I can't remember the specific message, but something he said really kind of hit me as far as not letting outside influences obstruct your thinking. And I came home and started looking up more, you know, just some other testimonies from other Messianic Jews. And that's when it really hit me that their story was that they were feeling the same as me and that it's okay to let that go. That's when it really hit me to just let every, let all of the worrying and the being afraid to disappoint, to just let it go. And I have, finally. <laughs> having that faith in Jesus, realizing that He is the Messiah. I mean, I know he, He's forgiven me for all my sins, and it just feels like a weight has been lifted off. November will be 10 years that we've been married. We kind of tiptoed around our faith, but in this past six months, we've just connected on a different level. We didn't really have that connection until we found Grace City, and I definitely feel like we're both growing. I mean, it just feels like you've gained a whole new family. The biggest thing is with that sense of peace and renewal, just to show that outward showing of, you know, my, my faith in Jesus and feeling new and, you know, renewed.